Oopsie hee hee. 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 <laughs> Yeah, M Milk 2 crashed OBS with crash stream. Did your message help? What message? The one in stream? Yeah. I, I didn't know what was going on until stream dead. <laughs> I, I was reading chat and everyone's just like, uh oh, <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. Um, but why did you bring out Witchet, by the way? Oh, so welcome, Boyer. Uh, it led me to try and plug the Jingle Jam game collection, which isn't actually available anymore, I don't think. <laughs> But why did you bring up Witchet? Anime tag. Oh shit, did it get rid of all my tags? No. It says that I have my tags. Does it not say that I have my tags for anyone else? For me, it says I have my anime VTuber LGBT Australia. Oh no, I'm only anime. Fuck. That is unlucky. I'm actually gonna cry. Oh, Petey. Gonna fucking make me blush, baby boy. Um. But yeah, why did you bring up Witchet? Anime. I am anime. Is the price tag? <laughs> and you know that I'm priceless. Actually, I'm not priceless. I do have a price. My price is 99 cents. Please, someone buy me. <laughs> I cost one AUD. I just want. I just want someone to buy me. Six dollars ninety. Oh, I. I wish I cost that much. I wish I cost that much, man. Yeah. Ah. Alright. Uh, I get. I always speed re speed run. I'll do the rest off stream, I think. But we'll get second death. Uh, am I alive again? I think so. Wait, is my mic muted? My mic isn't muted, is it? I can see it. It go up and down, up and down. Are you fucking with me? You piece of shit. I'll kiss you on the mouth if you're not careful. Alright, we're gonna speedrun. Speedrun to get the second achievement. Uh... Then we'll probably swap game for the last uh, hour and a bit, hour and a half. I'm walking to my room, trying to room, trying not to look around. Playful shadow dance around me here and there. They dash all around the walls, the ceiling. One of the shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control. 
and track of time. The spinning and joyful dance while I'm in a bit of hurry here. Mum told me to go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Um, when I walk past the kitchen on the way to my room, the door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is there are living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing mockingly. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure that... I break into a run and dash towards the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hands around, trying to chase away my annoying pursuers. But then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break down the door. If there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death. But wait, how can I scare someone to death? Someone who's already dead? Well, it, what if it actually revives them? No, 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 I, I don't want that. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. Eyes. Uh, as I expected, there was no living corpse inside, but there was a bag of milk that I bought today, sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me. With its unblinking eyes, I stare back. Nothing happens. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on a shelf in the store or on a table in my mum's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world into the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring up this trouble. I walk towards my room through a narrow corridor. Oh, is this where I get grabbed? Baby face man! I meet a familiar formless creature at the door. It locks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. After sniffing me from head to toe, he <laughs> toes, the creature holds out his <laughs> ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Again? I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't move. The creature squeezes my hand until my veins start bulging. I just keep staring at the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I promise so many times, stay put. The moment it says that, its claw pierces my arm. I don't feel anything other than barely discernible pain crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung sinews. But then the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. A white vial appears in front of my eyes. F my fingers cramp and I start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor just like last time. But why? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up, strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell while my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from the pressure. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky foam. The creature notices it and throws itself in me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping its poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me. Kill me. Hysterical screams resound through the corridor in a fit of madness, the creature stares, scratching at my neck. Bright, bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound that I try to imprint where, where every drop fell in my memory so I could gather them all later. I need to remember, I need. A new wave of pain rushes over me, everything turns pitch black in an instant. Say it! I'll never drink milk again, I. Say it! I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again! I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again. Uh, eh, eh. And brush and teeth. That's a split. We're speedrunning, baby. <laughs> I finally get to my room. <laughs> Both the milk was the front. True, true. 
I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from outside don't make me anxious at all. Mum told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the all the needed preparations. I wash my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with toothbrush in my hand. I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. There was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favourite time of the day. I loved anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world where the reality and the dream world would clash. I woke up for that moment's sake. I lived through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It could have been so cool, but the dreams always slowly but surely slipped away. As someone fished them out of my head one one after another, one after another, until nothing was left. And now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. Screw! After finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, I have no idea how they work separately since I always saw them as a bunch without thinking. Now, I want to have a better look at it, to twirl it between my fingers to chew on it. I'd do anything to stall just for a little bit more time. A smooth, protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi-transparent film, transparent film, but I can still discern its contents. Oh. Uh, Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Um. So, what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides, and to my surprise, it, surpri it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder, and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid pours out. Filthy. Filthy. The pill, fl the pill flies straight into the waste bin, and I start rigorously washing my hands. No. There's no way I'm drinking that. The next was a flat pill of the same blood red colour. There were some letters printed on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy, but it's not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. The pill flies into the waste bin as well. The next half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides, and then I find a reason not to swallow it. And then my own medicine instead, and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in the healing effects. Hey, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. My stomach doesn't hurt anymore. My eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple, I need to brag about it to someone right away. But not to my mum, she'll just scold me. And she's sure I'm already sleeping anyway. I don't want to disturb her. Without reason, I'll think of something myself. Besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder, who's going to be my conversation partner? Is it me? Is it me? I think I'm going to be the conversation partner. Hey! Hey! Long time no see! You know we're only meet, supposed to meet once per day, right? Why does your voice sound so grim? Naturally, I've read the manual, judging by the pictures, the overdose side effects, and the usual headaches, dizzy, and exhaustion. Basically, nothing I can't handle by myself. After all, now I know how to do- So, I get it. The voice inside my head is her not taking a medication. That's why we're only meet, meant to meet once a day, because it's in the gap where the medication I guess like in the morning or something, in the gap where the medication where isn't there. I guess. You didn't reply. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit. I'm pretty exhausted out today. Well, I guess you are too. That's not true. You need to go to bed. No, you've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now. All right. I'll just stay silent until the medicine's effects wear off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you at all. Hmm? 
I'm so energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything, and you? You can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. <laughs> I can imagine how angry you are right now. What made you so happy all of a sudden? Why would I be sad? Remember yourself a couple of hours ago? I don't know what you mean. Stop lying. Nah, -uh, I still don't understand. Ah, uh, a snotty girl. She just whines and whines all the time. Don't even try ruining my mood. I just want to have fun while we're together, alright? So you're the one calling the shots now? Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see, yeah. I... Am I really that pathetic? Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin and then falling on my clothes, burning holes into them. That was fast, but not unexpected. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face, then we'll decide what to do with you. Yeah, bitch. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. I shut my eyes, the no, uh, sunk to the floor, I start counting on my mind. Oh no, 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 structure hypercubed. I feel better, but my head is splitting apart now. How do you feel? You're mocking me, right? I'm obligated to ask at least a couple times per session. What if milk was a source of calcium that came from milk? What? <laughs> a session, huh? You don't like that word? I'm fine. No, you're not. I... I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I almost, I was almost ready, too. I'm sure I'd be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, you want to know how challenging it was for me. Uh, yeah, that, that, I do know how challenging it was, because I was there! I was there! Is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? Whatever it was, it was your decision. Does it even matter? Um. No. I knew it. Then why did you do it? I felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true the pain subsides for a bit at that time, but now I feel it triple in force. It hurts so bad. Um, you know what to do. Dejected, I reach out for the shelf of my medicine. I swallow the pills one after another, chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. And yet my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lumps of coagulated blood into apparent coating travel down my esophagus, scratching at soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you much more than pain. I, yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it in my mouth. Pog champ move, honestly. <laughs> Lying on the ground. I lie on the floor and look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes. There, I hear crackling of uh, the cracking of concrete blocks uh, that will someday surely fall on my head. But no, I'm not afraid uh, of that at all. I can imagine death coming from above. Rather, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. What is on the roof? Do you want to talk about it? No, I, I've had enough of talking. <laughs> okay. What do you want then? I I just want to lie down for a bit. That, uh, that's what you're doing, isn't it? You're lying down. Even if the ceiling is bound to collapse, it won't be today. Can you stay silent, please? I just need to get my thoughts in order. And now she stare at the roof. So I don't think there's anything that can change uh, up until the next bit. Everything, everything goes from once you finish this. I carefully extract, uh, I carefully extract thoughts that are, uh, 
that a bleh, that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly rows, now to my corkboard. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around, in the end I throw them off in my hand, annoyed to start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine uh, your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. Ew, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. You would not believe your eyes. Ten million fireflies. Lean up the world as I fell asleep. Fuck, what a bad time to come in. <laughs> hey, Br Brattles, thank you so much for the raid. How was stream? What a time to come in, though, with me fucking... Singing whatever that fuck that was. <laughs> Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I was stream. Um, I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts. They're fireflies now. They start whirling all over the ceiling of their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. I heard of Forager. I, I don't think I've ever watched gameplay, but I've definitely heard of it. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. Was it fun, though? I feel like this is an even smaller indie game. <laughs> Milk too, baby! It was very fun, that's good. It's just, that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling makes me start losing my patience. Enough, I hate you. Well, that's good, that's good though. Fun game. This is sad game. This game is mental illness. <laughs> Um, I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Good job. Now, start over. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So it doesn't bother you? Should it? No. A lot of people act like that. Really? There's nothing shameful about snapping at someone if you have a reason for that. You did have a reason, didn't you? Uh-oh. You'll surely get better, believe me. And now, start over. <laughs> You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. And I've changed my mind anyways. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. When are you planning on finishing? Uh... Either 12 or 12.30. So... Like, what, 40 minutes? An hour, a little over an hour? I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes and look to the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. Um, forget about them and go to bed. No, you, you don't get it. If I'm thinking about something, I need to finish my thoughts, or else I glance around the room. There are too many places of, for a creature as small as a firefly to hide here. They can be anywhere. Suddenly, I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't just go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please, tell me you'll help me. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking about on the while you are lying on the floor? Now this... This is important. I have to not click the answer I clicked last time. What do you mean? You should know better than anyone else. I'm actually gonna fucking... Uh... Okay. I don't do that. Um... Yeah, so last time I did that's the thing. I have no idea this is weird. That's wrong. Instead of asking silly questions, will you help me find the fireflies? To be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. Guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 no. No, 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 and no. If I make even the smallest messes here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should stay in their places and that's it. Why? Uh, are you trying to come up with a reason right now? Me? No, of course not. I think you can forget to put your mind block. I can see through you. Rude. 
All right then, so we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything even an inch. Yeah. Oh, my oh my. I have an idea. Last time becoming a visual novel, ca visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point and click adventure, uh, adventure game character. You know, those games have moments where you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. That sounds so fun. And what what about the things you use regularly? Do you reuse? Uh, do you refuse to touch them as well? And make it even more interesting. This is so childish. Want to know what the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. Oh yes. I start panicking as soon as I get in multiple soy situation. I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. Um, you've already proven that you're able to make decisions. Why not continue on down that road? Come on, don't be so boring. I was just teasing you. You don't have to bear the whole burden. Asking for help is a reasonable decision, decision too. Let's begin already. I go to the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, yes. This is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wowie! Wowie! Um, I carefully grab the firefly. It pleas- I love this fucking, uh, this art. It's so good. I carefully grab the firefly. It pleasantly scorches the to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was an order, the firefly slowly drifts up, circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. <laughs> that tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. Yeah! Um, so now we go to the laptop. Look at my laptop, I haven't touched it for years. So it's covered in a layer of dust as thick as my finger. A bizarre item. I fear it. Why? It's a long and boring story. Wonderful, tell me about it. Hmm. I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit from me from prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure, I've spent my whole days in front of the screen. Games, drawing, engineering calculator. Uh, 3D modeling. So much fun stuff to do. You had amusing hobbies. Yeah, I, I did, before entering the web. Hmm? Imagine this, you're a hamster that lives underground and you have everything for comfortable living. Did you imagine? As always, your analogy is spot on. Okay, I imagined. Alright, you're a hamster that lives underground, you have everything for your comfortable living. Okay. Okay. Wonderful, here's the situation, you're a hamster that lives underground. Okay, I got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Yeah. Alright, now. Pick this one, not fine. You'll end up returning to that subject anyway. On one wonderful day, someone digs you up from your hamster house and brings you to the pet store. Now, your new home is a cage. It's way more comfortable and warm compared to the underground. And the most important part, you have a lot of neighbours here. Their cages are identical to yours and the other hamsters look identical to you. That means you are all the same, apart from the fact that they were born at the shop. You'll ask, what does that indicate? And I'll tell you, nothing at all. I forgot what I was talking about. Gosh. Okay, let's start over. This time, try avoiding the stupid hamster analogy. You know, I'm not at fault here. So, I had a lot of friends online. Tens, hundreds of them. Impossible to count. Is it impossible though? I had exactly 317 of them. Although I guess nobody counts the exact number of hamsters when they walk into a pet shop. Hey, don't get distracted. Oh, right. From my 317 friends, 68 were into gaming, just like me. Yo, gamers? 130 of them liked drawing, just like me. 
The remaining 119 were into calculators and 3D modding equally. Modeling equally. When I say equally, I don't mean 15, uh, 59 and a half friends on each side. Alright? You can split numbers evenly, no problem. But math doesn't work like that when it comes to friends. Major conundrum, right? Get to the point. I knew, of course, there's n that no real people exist on the web. I also understood that uh, all my friends die the moment I turn off my laptop. But I still wasn't even a bit worried. Why? Do you know what computer programs consist of? They're just a combination of numbers. Which means my friends are also numbers. Isn't that amusing? Not really. Why do you call them your friends? I mean, everyone who shares my interest in my friend. I don't care whether they know about my existence or not. Anyways, I w as I was saying, every program has its own algorithm and purpose. It's a mathematical formula. And if you solve that formula, you'll be able to predict the program's behavior at any moment. The longer you speak, the less I follow. <laughs> you don't need to follow me around. Just listen. I sit on the floor and the laptop screen ends up right in front of me. The only thing reflected in it is my dim face. A web person is just a random picture. Uh, a web person is just a random picture and a random string of letters. Words and actions from the web person uh, from the web person are just words and actions from the web person are just executable code. Hey, let me know if you need a break. One day, someone appeared. From that point on, my laptop was always on. There are no real people on the web, but he was good at pretending. At some moment, I let him trick me. Hey, look. Huh? Suddenly, a firefly slowly crawls out from under the laptop vent grill. I reach out for it. It gets onto the top of my palm while blinking all the while. I think it's trying to say something. I can see that myself, but if only I knew what. Looks like a cipher. Do you want to crack it? Change my mind. Absolutely no desire. Okay. Stop going. Just coming back to its senses. For some reason... Uh, for some time, it thinks about further course of action, flies up, dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. What about your story? You must be mad at me for interrupting you. I'm sorry. If you do everything right, I'll finish my story, maybe. Do you promise? I promise. And if you forget, then remind me with a code word, for example. What code word? I'll think of one later. And for now, let's keep searching for my fireflies. Okay, so now, 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 <laughs> oh no, um, man. Oh, fuck. Did I mess up? Oh, fuck. I think I messed up. <laughs> I read it wrong. Oh, I read it wrong. Fuck. I messed up. Can't, I can't go to the balcony. Uh, can I do another one? Roop speed run. <laughs> Is there another ending I can do? Um. Okay. <laughs> Laptop. Pills bag. Okay. There is another one I should be able to do. And you get this by not doing the first one. Alright, so I do... Laptop, pills, bag. Okay. Pills. I look at the mound of pills, it makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it, I don't want to think about it. What's wrong? 
I've almost skipped my dose for the day. How reckless. I, I could have died. Hey, calm down. You already fixed that. Yeah, because of you. Is that an accusation? Of course not. You're the one that saved me. Well, that's reasonable. I heave a deep sigh and come close to extend my hands. Wow, it's so warm. The moment those words leave my lips, one of the bowl overturns. Pills rain down from it and along with them. A firefly! Hooray! I'm circling above my head a couple of times. It finally lands in my palm. A firefly rushes up my arm. Uh, my mind becomes a bit clearer. Backpack. Um... What a cool image. I need to remember that. Senseless and cruel. You are there, but I don't care. Is it me you're laughing at? Well, I'd, I'd never. After all, you're not my pet. <laughs> uh, I'm not going along with this nonsense anymore. Got it? Got it. Hey, it wasn't on purpose this time. Tell me, what's inside your bag? Nothing special, mostly sort of book. Taking everything interesting. Used to go to school, yeah, had a blast all the way. Ah, uh, it should be doom and gloom while you're wrong. Rooms were really bright, not like at home. Is that it? Don't rush me, let me remember. Well, the beds were also soft and the food was nice. By the way, I attended all the classes, the others always skipped. They probably got towed off so hard. I smiled gently, absorbed by warm memories. Never graduated though. Yeah, do you remember your last day there? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I'm already too old uh, for school curriculum. I, I also realized that some time ago. The tasks were way too easy. Got into a car, went home. Mum greeted us there. We had dinner, went to our rooms. Um, and what happened then? Don't remember, does it even matter? Tell me about it again. Is your memory that bad? Please? That day, Dad picked me up from school earlier, explained to me that I need to grow up. It's not like I completely grasped what he meant. Either way, I didn't resist. We got in the car, went home, Mum greeted us there, we had dinner together, went to separate rooms. Satisfied? Tell me about it again. Dad dragged me out of the school building while I was searching, scratching and biting. The teachers didn't interfere. The scene was ordinary for them. Who knows what the little brat had done. Um... Then he pushed me into the car, we drove home in complete silence. Mum greeted us there, we had dinner together, and we went our separate rooms. Tell me again. Dad brought milk on our way home. Again, I hate milk so much. Mum was not home. Again, I hate mum so much. Suddenly I feel someone eyes on my back. Knowing that these moments should never be ignored, I turn around. But there's nothing there. What happened next? Everything that happened next happened after something that led to everything that happened after what had happened. I look at my bag again, light pouring into the room through the window, glints on the metal part, and there's also shadow underneath, which means it's real, sadly. Whatever, I don't care anyway. I almost end up kicking the bag in a feat of sudden anger, but I manage to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move it even in an inch, the whole picture will collapse and I'll go blind. It has already happened countless times. What do you mean you'll go blind? Spent months memorizing the location of every item in my room. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. You won't get it. Look at your feet. Uh, I look down and see a small insect is crawling towards me from my bag. It's barely glowing and it can't even fly. I guess the firefly is really tired. I bend down to pick it up. The firefly starts glowing as soon as I touch it and then flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies towards me with high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the firefly to enter my ear. That's exactly what happens. After it gets inside, buzzes for a little bit, uh, for a little while, and then goes silent. This one's kind of sad. I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's no longer alone. Sure, let's continue searching. Okay, now can I... Now can I? No, I think I finished. Do I finish searching? And then do that one? I've managed to govern my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's just going back to the starting point. No changes at all, a zero sum. And happiness is always about being positive, right? You shouldn't think too much. It, it hurts you. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? 
What do you mean? We'll go to the balcony. Breathe in some air. Somehow those words triggered a panic attack in me. I subconsciously step away from the balcony. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? This may sound silly, but I feel like someone is watching me. Okay, now I think I do this. There's no way somebody cares about you that much. <laughs> Just for a couple minutes, okay? We're going to the balcony. What could happen? What could go wrong? <laughs> Nothing could go wrong, right? Balconies are fun. My apartment building looks like a bottomless cooking pot, but instead of soot, it has hundreds of concrete and metal boxes on its walls. There are there are lights on the windows. Uh, on in the windows, there are muffled voices coming from inside the inside. There are howling wind spirals up. The the howling wind spirals up and splits into hundreds of independent streams. Seems like it wants to be heard by every person living here. Must feel so lonely, living in endless silence. Your apartment building is pretty weird, isn't it? Oh, Mori flashback. I could see the horizon from my window before, and... Hmm. Uh, and the building grew for miles in both directions. I guess at some point it circled around and closed in on itself. Uh-oh. Nothing unusual about that. How do you feel? I definitely feel... Sometimes that's more than enough. You're still anxious, aren't you? Of course. Moreover, I'm completely terrified. Was it that obvious? You're looking in every direction, but not up. Uh, this? I've already told you, haven't I? About what? You know, small stuff. Can small stuff make you terrified? It, it's hard to explain. I climb up to the metal railing and let my legs hang down. I sneak short glances at the abyss uh, from time to time. It replies with angry, cold breath. That's how we interact, like old friends. Sometimes I feel like the whole world pretends to be crazy. As if it's trying to make me believe in something that doesn't exist. That's weird, isn't it? Yes, but at the same time, it makes me feel a little bit happy. Everything around me was created for my sake, to deceive, trick, confuse me. If that's true, I guess I'm not so crazy myself after all. You're believing, you believing in this is the definition of craziness. You're probably right. Another gust of wind's blast against the pot walls, smashing the glass to dust and blowing away the concrete crust. I, on the other hand, feel a gentle breeze that only ruffles my hair. I still haven't come up with the code word. You were the one to, uh, you were the one to remember your promise. You don't need a code word anymore. I don't like when this happens. I want to remember certain things only when I want to. Nonetheless, you made the promise. And I'll keep it. But you need to keep in mind that this, fuck. I bent down and imagined falling into the abyss. I have exactly two minutes before I meet my end. Uh, yeah, because that, that's good things to keep in mind. Oh. Is this imagination or uh, is it? Oh, yes, me. Oh, yes, me. Close your eyes and you leave the stream. I had a, fr <laughs> I had a friend online, my best friend. Even though the combination of letters he used instead of his name wasn't that cool. Well, the combination of pixels he had instead of his photo was also boring and unattractive. This is so strange and wrong. Breaking the rules of being online, why was he doing that? Maybe his code was a few lines short? I don't get quite get what you mean. I could tell you about those rules. You can't find them anywhere. But I'm smart, so I figured them out myself. Although... I'm not sure if I should divulge them. Why? When I try to say what I think out loud, I tend to make mistakes. If I make just a single one, everything that comes after contradicts my thoughts. And I end up with the op in the opposite position. Um, and I don't want that. According to that logic, it'd be better for you to keep your mouth shut forever. Yeah, that's my dream. Keep my mouth shut, never get up from my bed, never see or hear anything. Just dream on and on. Oh, 
why is everything so terrible? Don't get distracted. So, what? Uh, so what was that about your friend? My friend? Oh yes, he he was brazen enough to. Come on, gather your thoughts. He somehow made me believe that he was real. He kept describing someone else's life to me in detail, as if it was him, and he expected me to do the same. And then I told him everything about myself, without hiding a single thing. I grip my teeth, the wind whips my face without mercy, it slices my skin to uneven stripes, as if it was a piece of thin cloth. He knew more about me than anyone else in the world. You know what he did? Yes. <laughs> Sending an army of bots to harass me was probably fun. And what's the most important? What's most important? It was a win-win situation. They spawn here and there, simple bits of code that are um, effortless to run. No one the algorithm assigns them that assigns that pattern more often than the others from the list. Text and video generators get to work on the same time. My name surfaced on the web more and more. It's unbearable. Unbearable. Around every corner, every balcony, ceiling, attic, wall, I always feel many pairs of watchful eyes directed at me. And now they watch me from the screens, too. But I'll put an end to it. I've decided, I de I've decided a long time ago. Though, maybe I only decide that only... My body finally crashes into the ground, smashing into millions of tiny pieces like porcelain. I'm cold. Let's go back inside. Oh, that okay. Just a dream. <laughs> Just a dream. I returned to my room. Thankfully, it hasn't changed one bit during the minutes I was outside. Without second thought, I go towards my laptop and yank the power cable from out from the outlet. That's it. That's it. That's it. What are you going to do? What's with that silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. Hoping that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. Imagining myself to be outside of my mortal shell, but at the same time still being me. Ridiculous, like milk outside of a bag of milk. And yet... And yet? You don't have to talk out loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill? Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. And the day after tomorrow. And never, ever. That's good, then. Th uh, that's goodbye, then. No, I have one more small favor to ask. A really small one. What is it? I've blurred out way too much today and a lot of stuff I'd want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. No, I, I wouldn't be able to sleep like this. Fine. What's the favor? I am... Um, Nervously scratch my wrist and bite on my lower lip. Wait a minute, you're afraid to tell me? Yes, I'm, I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that, that when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop. I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Bully. No, you. Yeah, you're the bully, bitch. <laughs> I crawl into my sleeping bag. The lower part of the room is very cold. I hu hurry to wrap myself in blankets, even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dreams just won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Of course I'll believe you. I know, it, it was a joke. Well anyway, I washed my face, brushed my teeth, lied down and started imagining that I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all. Of course and always looked sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Letters floating in the air, strange silhouettes that appeared in the most unexpected of places, bulging eyes with trembly pale pupils. It was scary, you know? Then one day I almost died. I just collapsed in the middle of my room and couldn't move for a while. And then silhouettes, letters and eyes were hanging around over me and hissing. It was horrible. And, well, deserved, I guess. It felt like I was caught on the biggest lie in the world. Yes, it felt exactly like that. 
After that, I stopped. But the silhouettes, letters, and eyes stayed here. I guess they like this place. They always follow in my wake, peeping at me. I'm kind of scared of them. Can't even argue with them. But today, today, well, I... You're still too scared to tell me? Of course, they're, they're still listening, you know. Use your hands. All right. I start chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm, forming complex shapes. I can do that. Uh, circle, circle, line out, well, we'll go up, we'll close that, we'll build a little line there, there we go, that's a complex shape. <laughs> uh, you want me to tell you a bedtime story? Shh, I was trying so hard here. Yo, Panda69, Pan4? <laughs> that is a great name, even if it's a bot. Goodbye, bot. Rest in peace, Panda69. I was trying so hard here. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax. Nobody can hear you. That was your old... Oh, rip. Sorry. <laughs> Chinese stole it. No! Not Panda69. So, what do you say? I'd be happy to, but I have no idea how to tell them. <laughs> oh, it's incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly. But it's not. And meaningless. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. Fine. Close. Close. Your eyes, you'll be here soon. I wake up lying on the code floor in the center of a cramped room. I look around without standing up. There's no furniture, just naked walls and a single door. I can hear muffled sounds coming from the other side of it. Scary sounds. I hug my knees and wrap myself in my sweater like it's a blanket. It's no use. I'm chilled to the bone. The room is pretty spacious, but I can still I still can't shake the feeling that I'm trapped inside a suffocated suffocating casket. And the faint blue go bl faint blue glow that sneaks in through the keyhole only adds to that feeling. Do I want to know what's outside? As if on cue, an inhuman roar comes from the other side of the door. It becomes louder and louder, more and more distinct with every passing second. Somebody or something is getting closer. I curl into a ball, trying to take up as little space as possible. Maybe I can become invisible, or become smaller in some miraculous way. In the meantime, the howl becomes unbearably loud, but only for a moment. Then it sheepishly backs off until I can't hear it anymore. I finally decide to stand up. After I do that, I hear another strange sound. It's coming from right above me now. The ceiling moves upward, squeaking. Small debris is falling on my head. Small debris is falling on my head. I squint a little, then raise my hand, trying to touch the ceiling. But it suddenly starts to rise quicker, and instantly disappears into the darkness. I'm not in a casket anymore, well... It wasn't exactly a casket now. It was a well in the form of a casket. The room becomes darker and cool colder. I'll have to do something at some point. Hours pass. I frantically run from one wall to another, delirious. The walls uh, run away from me, making the, the already spacious room even bigger. In the end, I stand amidst endless darkness, and only and only the door is watching me with its eye. I keep purposely avoiding it. I could sometimes hear horrifying rustles and howls on the outside. However, now, I don't even have a choice anymore. I slowly come up to the door and reach out towards it. As I expected, the door also moves away from me. I continue moving forward with my hands stretched out. I don't want to lose the only source of light in this pitch black darkness. At some point I get tired of sneaking up on the door. It's like some wild animal. So I lunge at it, trying to grab the handle. However, 
At the last moment, the door whizzes away and I fall onto the cold floor. Unable to keep my balance, it hurts. Stupid door. Stupid, nasty, cursed door. I hate you. I hate you. I scream at the top of my lungs. I finally let out all the despair that I'd bottled up. I slowly realize how horrible the situation I end up is, uh, in is. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't stop screaming for a moment because I'm scared to end up in complete silence. Uh, if the reality around me disappears, my twisted imagination will take over. And the realest thing I have right now is my voice. Hey, I can hear you. A voice coming from the other side of the door. I'm here, come closer. I scream thrice as hard as before. I scream until my throat hurts, until my ears start buzzing. My biggest wish right now is to keep in touch with that person, whoever they are. Hey, where are you? I rush towards the door, stumbling on the way. I keep running for a minute, for ten minutes, but the door isn't even an inch closer. At the same time, the distance between us haven't grown either, which means I match it in speed. I just need to make one final push. I gather the last bit of strength I have and push my legs off the ground. The jump feels like an eternity. I stretch out my hand, almost touching the scratchy wood. I dive face first onto the ground with ridiculous speed. I slide at least 30 more feet like that thanks to inertia leaving behind a bloody trail. My hand is still outstretched trying to grab an empty space. Uh, tears stream down my face making numerous scratches burn. I try to wipe them but I, I scream and yank my hand away the moment I touch my face. My lips and nose are now a mushy mess. Somebody help me. The other side of the door is completely silent. The silence reigns uh, for an excruciatingly, excruciatingly long time. However, at some point that silent torture ends. Hey, I can see you. I try to reply, but stifled whimpers come out of my throat instead of words. Are you hurt? Yes, yes. I stand up from my knees. Despite continuing to cry, I take a couple of deep breaths and start running again. I keep running for hours. I feel like the door is closer to me, uh, closer to me by an inch or two now. I almost let myself stop for rest at that thought. I can't rest. I'll catch up to it sooner or later. The voice from the other side of the door keeps asking me how I feel. I let out heavy, ragged breaths in reply. I'll fall from exhaustion if I utter even a single word. Still, I'm thankful for, to them. I don't want them to become silent. After another hour passes, I barely scratch the handle with my nails. I'm almost there. I'm so scared. Why aren't you doing anything? I... Uh, why are they doing this to me? Don't they understand how painful this is for me? Almost there. You're scaring me. Go away. Rage fills my brain. I ignore the pain in my bones and channel all my strength into one final jump. No, go away. I firmly grasp the handle and open the door. Blinding light hits my eyes. I l lose the ground beneath my feet and start falling. I'm lying face down in the grass. I smell water, earth, and the dampness of the night. And grass, of course. The wind tickles the back of my head. It howls and jumps around restlessly. Lying down like this is unpleasant and rude when nature is so alive around me. With sounds, and I'm pretty sure colours, too. I stand up full of anticipation. Do you understand what the fuck is happening or am I I think it's a dream um do I understand what the dream is no <laughs> um I've been running in darkness trying to catch up to a door <laughs> uh 
I see an endless field, a clear sky without a single star, and a pale moon somewhere very, very far away. I shake my head and try to focus my eyes on anything, but to no avail. My surroundings are just too vast. I feel dizzy. Bam. I'm lying in the thick, wet grass again. But this time I'm looking at the darkness of a night sky instead of just darkness. Is there any real difference though? The wind howls, it's clearly upset. But what can I do about it? I hear an indiscernible echo coming far away, a wolf or something else. Does it even matter? I'm in the grass. Nobody can see me. Ooh. The echo draws closer and closer. Sorry, I, I should do that properly. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Alright, I suppose it was O, oh, so it would be Oh, whoa. <laughs> <clears throat> the echo draws closer and closer. At some point, I realize that's not a wolf. Oh, hello. <laughs> I jump up and start turning my head in a panic. Where is that sound coming from? I haven't said that out loud, but got an instant reply. Ooh. Hey, I can hear you. My voice runs across the field, mixing with the rustle of the grass and the howls of the wind. It feels like some it feels like it's about to get absorbed by them, but Ooh. Hey, where are you? Ooh. I can't understand where I should run to and if I should run at all. Somebody clearly wants to find and wants me to find and help them. Maybe they're hurt? The grass tickles my heels while I drag my feet in the direction where I think the sound is coming from. It's just not a single tree or stone around, only an endlessly wide field. I hear a resounding painful scream. I shut my eyes and cover my ears. I suddenly feel scared. The screams turn into a cry. I carefully raise my head, still scared to death. Hello. Somewhere very far away among the thick grass, I spot a silhouette. Just a small black spot, but... Hey, I can see you. The silhouette doesn't move, but the sound is definitely coming from its direction. No, it, it's not a scream, it's more like a whisper or a wheeze. Ooh. Are you hurt? No reaction again, just muffled sounds. Maybe it's the wind going mad, and the black spot is just a stone or a tree? I walk away, disappointed. 100 steps, 200 steps. Then I turn around, surprisingly the spot hasn't become smaller. I start jogging, the grass is no longer tickling me, it's whipping my ankles, leaving cuts. Feeling of panic and unexplainable dread grow inside me. A stone, a tree. Why the hell is this field endless? I don't turn around anymore. I know that it's chasing me. The sound reaching my ears becoming even stranger, louder, and more distinct. The wind is bullying me too, huh? Isn't that right? That's the case, right? Finally, I stop. I ran out of breath and I'm at the brink of dying. At least I think so. The horrifying voice is coming right behind me. I turn around instinctively and for some reason try to shield my face, but end up losing balance and falling to the ground. The grass replies with a nasty cackling rustle. Ooh. I had enough. I spring up, the silhouette is still there, and the same distance as before. It's standing there without moving an inch. I'm so, I'm scared, here. I'm scared here, you know? Why won't you do anything? The silhouette trembles and then starts slowly gliding towards me, followed by new sound, wheezes, moans. Fear shackles me. I can only, I can only stand and watch the approaching black spot. My lips are parched and I speak in a voice I don't recognize. You're scaring That silhouette which can't speak is me. The voice I don't recognize is the voice from behind the door. 
This is before I fell. So, I'm the monster? You're scaring me. Go away. After that, the spot expands rapidly, and the blink of an eye, most of the sky and field is consumed by the sticky, cold darkness. Paralysis finally lets my body go, and I immediately sprint away. Ooh. I run so fast that the gra grass turns into dark green mush under my feet. I slip up, fall, run again. Ooh. No, 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 no. No, go away. An unknown force turns my head with crunching sound and darkness consumes everything. Damn, bitch got her neck snapped. I wake up on the cold floor in the center of a cramped room. I look around without standing up. There's no furniture, just naked walls. Hello. Oh, and now it's just the ending scene. So she just had a nightmare. What the fuck was that nightmare is... Is a different question. <laughs> but we learnt more about her. <laughs> So here's what you think. What do you think? I'm thinking it could have something to do with Purgatory. It's one of those games where you have to get all the other endings to get the true ending where it actually explains the entire game. Maybe. I'm not going to do that tonight. But if anyone wants to, <laughs> they can get the game themselves. Or maybe look it up. Because I'm, I'm going to end here. Because I'm not feeling right. And my throat is sore. <laughs> um, but we got a couple endings. Uh, it's fucking insane. We learned about the dad. Because the dad wasn't in the picture last game. Ow. <laughs> uh, the dad was not in the picture last game. We only know about the mum. Um, it seems her dreams put her in the place of something else. Because the first dream where she was helping the kid at the store, it was like the kid was her and she was me, the voice in her head. The second dream where she was running um it was like where she was running in pain, she was the monster. And the kid behind the door was the person in the field. So I don't, I don't know what any of it means, but... <laughs> but, um, I don't know. It, it, it's very artistically cool and interesting. Um... Oh. So, looking at this. Um. The weird boxes in the corner. You know, the, the boxes that are go all glitchy apparently the game files it's milk so apparently this is all boxes of milk which makes sense if it's bag milk because you get a I guess a bag of milk inside a cardboard box what does it mean though fuck if I know <laughs> she doesn't like milk I can tell you that there's also a QR code, apparently. Um. But yeah, there is a secret ending. Uh, to get a... Are we friends route? 
which I think that might be like the goodest goodest one or there's the you won't get it ending which is like the end all right yeah I don't know it's definitely interesting I'm definitely going to finish it on my own time uh, I am ending for today um Hey, yo, fuck milk. <laughs> oh, why well, didn't have... Why well, didn't have the title? <laughs> you can see the title there is fuck milk, but it doesn't have the title here. Fuck milk! Have a suggestion for raid? Um, maybe. I'll have a look at if there's anyone I know. Um, I don't know if I'll be raiding anyone new. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'll be raiding anyone new today. I don't really feel well mentally. <laughs> um, so probably not, sorry. Nah, no one I know either. <clears throat> uh, I can have a quick look at them. Do you know him IRL or do you know him um, just from Twitch? Oh, he's a speedrunner. Okay. Just switch and Discord. Oh, ah, yeah, pro uh, not today. Sorry, but um, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the thing I uh I saw on Twitch. Um, so they have a creator update. Uh, they have a creator update check section. You know, just letting you know new stuff. Um. But one of the things they added a couple days ago, or, yeah, a couple days ago, um, was apparently they had to classify, <laughs> clarifying our guidance on the promotion of self-harm. They had to clarify that you're not allowed to promote self-harm. So promoting or glorifying self-harm is also promil- Who the fuck didn't know that? <laughs> and all I can think about uh, on that topic is like... Um, the new wave of fucking teenagers who think mental illness is cool... Um, ended up like cutting themselves because it's cool. Because there are- Amazingly, that's a fucking thing. There are fucking teenagers who pretend to have mental illness and do dumb shit. Like... Yeah, yeah, I guess. But, um... But it, it just makes me think... Um... Because they purely... They point out... Like, um, engaging uh, could endanger your life or lives of others is not permitted. Um, and then they add the glorifying, promoting or glorifying self-harm isn't prohibited. So I'm thinking, like, is it just the fucking new kids who think being depressed is cool? Um, and do dumb shit because they want to prove they have mental illness? Because I, uh, there are people like that. I've... Like, I've, I've not known them personally. I've known people who've known them. There are people who fucking cut themselves and then be like, yeah, look, I cut myself. That means I'm depressed. It's like, what the fuck? Man? Do you understand that that is a serious problem? That some people can't help. Like, it is a serious problem that people go through and have to try and deal with. There are some people who do it just to prove that they have depression. Um, 
there are the people who fake autism, fake, um, like, uh, yeah, I can't focus on anything, so I have ADHD. There's the people who fake, uh, Tourette's. That's a big thing. They'll, they'll like, film videos and, like, force fake tics. Um, but yeah, there are some people who, like, they'll just drink a lot and be like no i'm i have an alcohol problem to deal with my depression it's like you're just drinking so you can make that excuse and it's just some dumb shit right uh, and reading that made me think of it like the fact that these kids might be moving to twitch nick crowley i crowley nick crowley i don't know who that is Oh, I think I've seen some of his stuff. I think I have seen some of his stuff. Um. Yes, I do. I have actually heard of that one. There's also the fucking, um... I can't remember what it was called. I think it was called, like, Blue Whale or White Whale Challenge. And it's basically you have to do some... I can't remember what it was. It was either, like, self-harm... It was some sort of self-harm. Like, doing something that very well could kill you for clout. And that might be the same thing. Um, it, that might be the same cult. Um... I don't know. It, it's it's fucked. Uh, <laughs> um, you thought that was? No, no, no. I'm pretty sure that was real. Gonna nick your Crowley's, yo. Storm coming in here, flirting, mad hard. <laughs> hey, Storm. Um, what does that even mean? What, what would I consider cro Crowley Crowley's? I suppose, like, maybe balls, but if you're gonna nick your ball... Does that mean you're gonna, like, get a pair of scissors and go snip on his balls? Him with the fucking snip. <laughs> snip, snip. Give him a little nick on the balls. <laughs> I'd be a nick on your balls. <laughs> no, please don't snip my balls. I would hate that, ooh-woo. <laughs> Alright, uh, we are ending for today, though. Um, <laughs> so we, we can do speech stuff, speech, speech, speech stuff. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know, what? About the person who bought 3080 TIs from, I don't know who that is. But I, I, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Um, but if anyone has known as is interested, I do have a discord. It's a great place to, uh, hang out with the community because it is a great community or just keep up to date with streams. If I, uh, cancel, start late, bonus stream, whatever, uh, it's mentioned there. Fuck. Uh, if you're interested in seeing Milk 1, I do, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't remember. Fuck, I don't know. Um, yeah, if you're interested in, in previous VODs, including uh, Milk Inside a Bag of Milk, the first game, um, that is available on my channel. You just don't... Oh, so if you if you say the name, I'll probably know who you're talking about, but I, <laughs> I don't know him any more than that. Um, but yeah, uh, whether it's... Good morning, good afternoon, or good night. I just hope in general uh, you have a good day, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'm I'm live tomorrow, aren't I? It's Saturday. Yeah. See. <laughs> uh, hopefully, see you tomorrow. So, uh, bye bye. Kisses. <laughs>